What is going on YouTube? It is March 14th, day two in Texas. I may look a little tired. I am pretty tired. It is, sorry, I don't know the time by hand. It's 11.16. I'm off to go grab some eggs because I gotta make breakfast for me and Mariah. I'm gonna make Kodiak cakes today. I brought my skillet. Uh, the ice bucket off. Um, yeah, so I brought my skillet. Gonna be making some Kodiak cakes when I get back, but I'm also gonna get a haircut while I'm gone. So I'm gonna get a haircut first, then go grab the eggs because my hair is looking pretty long. I don't like it too long on the sides, I like it nice and short. And then I might get the top trimmed a little bit too. So I am wearing the lavender performance tee along with some gray shorts. I don't know. They're like the ones that have like little stretchy right there and you can tie them. They're really nice. So that's what I'm wearing today. When you have, whenever you get a haircut, I always bring a spare shirt. Not the shirt that you're gonna wear for the day because then you get like the hair stuck in like the neck and whatever. So I'm just gonna bring a spare shirt, change to that when I get the haircut so then I'm not itchy all day. So I'll talk to you guys probably when I get to the haircut place. I really cannot complain about the weather. It's beautiful outside. The weather is nice. The wind feels good. It's warm. It's way better than Minnesota. The Minnesota weather sucks right now. So I'm gonna get the GPS going and find out what haircut place I need to go to that is gonna be, you know, good and relatively not like 30 bucks. So, <sighs> wish me luck. All right, guys. So I decided to go with this place called Supercuts. It's it was like four minutes away from the hotel. There it is over there. So, I mean, it looks pretty nice. So I'm hoping it's gonna be good. I'll talk to you guys after my haircut and hope it's fresh. All right, y'all, just got done for, with my haircut. <clears throat> it looks pretty good, I guess. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's all right. It's like just usually, I don't know, I actually kind of like it. It was an Asian lady, like, and she was like, had an accent, so I was unsure of what the results were gonna be like. You know how it is with them. I don't know. It's like my relatives, like, you can't really understand them and I don't know it's just hard so I don't know I guess she did a good job I'm not gonna like diss on her or anything like she's a nice lady so now I'm gonna go get some eggs and go make some Kodiak cake so I'll see you guys back at the hotel all right so finally back at the hotel and let me show you the setup I have going here so I got the eggs napkins paper plates utensils got Mariah's mixed up here we'll be a little bowl just blended it up. Um, we got all our food supplies up there. Got the pan, which I'm going to be needing. I'm also going to need that peanut butter. So I'll put that down here. Um, yeah, and then I got my skillet down here. So this is where I'm going to be cooking the pancakes. So, yeah, this is it. And I'm going to get cooking. Yeah, so I don't know if we're allowed to cook in here. This hotel room. So, I don't know. But I need to eat. My, my foods, so I'm gonna get cooking on these pancakes. All right guys, there's the finished product, still looks good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this now and then we're gonna get ready and leave for the mall. So me and Mariah, we are at the mall now and we're at the outside part of the mall really cool let me show you this real fast so <laughs> I just tried to see another <laughs> step and I fell <laughs> <laughs> so like they got all this water and whatnot and then all the shopping stores are like, down there so yeah and then they have also have like an inside section part of the mall too they got a cheesecake factory right there which me and Mariah are probably gonna go eat lunch there Mariah's been wanting to go there for a while um, and then they got like a cool restaurant here. It's called Texas de Brazil. De Brazil. So I wonder what they have there. It looks really nice. Actually really interesting. Oh, Brazilian Steakhouse looks so good. I bet that's delicious. Anyways, so we are gonna get some shopping done now and I'll keep you guys posted. 
I saw her here in the store called Lush. It's like, uh, I don't know, bath bombs and all these home, homemade type of stuff. Mariah likes this stuff, but it just looks really interesting. Like, look at that. <laughs> they got a Chick-fil-A in their mall. This is so sick. I love Chick-fil-A. So sadly, not getting Chick-fil-A today. We just ate before we left the hotel, and Mariah wants to get Cheesecake Factory later, so <laughs> not gonna eat that. So now we're at Forever 21, doing some shopping for Mariah. More shopping for Mariah. It'll be my turn in a little bit after this. Take turn, so next is gonna be one of my stores, but yeah, she's just gonna maybe get some shorts or I don't know yet, but she is right there. It doesn't matter. All right, guys, just had to buy a quick Cinnabon. I got a mini cinnamon roll. I, I fit in my macro, so. Like, ultimately, my favorite treat is a cinnamon roll from Cinnabon. They're so good. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend you do. So now I'm looking for a store for me to shop at, and I'll let you guys know when we get there. So here, I finished line, and I decided to try to try on two new pairs of fly nets. So again, I already have these black ones, but I decided to try a pair of these and try a pair of these. So the guy's bringing them out right now, and once I try them on, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So they sold out of both of the pairs of the shoes that I picked. Like, they don't have my size. They only have like 10 and a half and up, and I do not wear 10 and a half, I wear nine and a half. So, he brought these ones out to me. These ones are okay. And then I asked for him to bring out the white ones if they do have those, so he's gonna bring those right now, and I'm gonna try these on and show you guys. So guys, this is them. I don't know, I don't think it really looks that good. So, I might come back. I'm gonna go check, I think I got a couple more pairs of shoe shorts here, so I'm gonna go check those, see what they got. All right, I've been looking for these. If you guys watch the online coach on YouTube, he just bought a pair of these like maybe two weeks ago, and I'm finally seeing them in person. They look really sick, so I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna see if they have my size. If not, that stuff really sucks. Uh, I'm gonna buy these for sure if they do. All right, so bought the, try, uh, <laughs> I tried on the Prestos, and, I, uh, and they felt really comfy, so I bought them. Um, they didn't look too good with like the shorts I'm wearing, but obviously I'm feel I'm hoping they look better with like joggers or gym shorts. So we are at Charlotte Russe now, shopping for Mariah. So finally leaving the mall, go inside the mall. We spent like two hours in there. I left with just a pair of shoes. We are going to why did I forget the name? Lululemon. There we go. Uh, probably going to pick up a pair of shorts. We'll see. I gotta uh, look and then maybe try it on and then Mariah's looking to get probably one thing there too. So after that, change of plans. We're going for dinner tonight. We're gonna go to the Cheesecake Factory and for lunch we're gonna get Chipotle. Been craving Chipotle since yesterday night. So that's the plan. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, y'all. So we just got done shopping. I bought some from Lululemon, my oh. first item. What? A scary bug. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I bought like a long sleeve. It's like, I'll show you the color. I'll show you all later. I'm probably gonna wear it tonight, maybe or tomorrow. But now we're gonna go get Chipotle, and then gonna eat, and then probably wait about an hour, and then head to the gym. So I'll talk to you guys later. At Chipotle now. It was like two minutes away from where we were just at the mall, so that's nice. I'm gonna leave the camera in the car. Talk to you guys after. So at the hotel, just changed. Let me show you what I'm in wearing today. So I'm wearing the Lavender Performance tee with some arm uh, Under Armour running shorts. So they're like the shorter ones. And then some long spandex because it's leg day. And then, I'll show you, I'm gonna mix up. Well, not mix up, but you more bottle has like a little spot and a cap. So what you can do is, I'm going to grab some amino acids. Uh, this is Iso Aminos by Man Sports, Sour Batch flavor. So it's, it's almost gone. Dang, I spilt on the table. Anyways, it's almost gone, so I'm going to have to be buying some more soon. Um, I also have some BCAAs for backups, just in case when I run out of this. So I, because I will be running out this week. So take about a scoop and three-fourths a scoop, so almost two scoops. And yeah, look at that guy, just spilt all over the table. So I'm gonna have to clean that up. Yeah, and then what you wanna do is just grab this, push it on, make sure it's sealed and tight. 
and I actually twist this on. Struggle is real right now. I don't know why. Anyway, so yeah, so that's all set for the workout. I'm gonna mix my pre workout up, up pre workout up in about twenty to thirty minutes and then take that and then head on to the gym. I just ate Chipotle, so my stomach's kind of full, and I just want to rest. I don't want to get a side cramp there. I want to have full energy for the gym and not feel, you know, bloated or anything. So, talk to you guys when I'm on my. I'll just talk to you guys at the gym. All right, y'all. Just arrived here at the gym. Super pumped. Hit legs. I'm in a good mood, and I have a lot of energy. So, we'll see how it goes. So I just realized I forgot my workout shoes, so I'm going to be lifting in the air the Nike Pressos today. See how that goes. Um, should be okay, I hope. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to get stretched out. Make sure I warm up for at least 5 to 10 minutes and then I'm going to move on to the workout. So I'm starting a leg worker off with seated squat machine and I'm gonna be doing four sets. I'm gonna do a couple warm sets just to get my legs warmed up and I'm gonna be working with five plates doing four sets of ten today. So moving on to squat now, I'm like sweating a lot already. It's super hot in here. So my goal is to uh, work up to 315 a day. I think I'm gonna try for a five to three today. I'm gonna do a lot of reps, but low volume. Just uh, maintain strength. I'm feeling pretty good, so I should be able to do it. Yeah, so let's get this done. Guzman, right there. So I'm at one, uh, 275 right now. Just gonna do this for like three reps and then put 315 on and see how that goes. So I'm at 315 now, I'm not too sure how this is going to go. I'm having like a lot of knee pain today from the drive, like my legs staying in one position for so long it like got really stiff, so like I'm having some knee pain but it's all good. I'm trying my best, I'm trying to get three sets of five in, or five sets of three, sorry. After that first set, like two was felt really hard. <sighs> I realized I have no belt, which is always a hard thing to do with like squat with no belt, like super heavy. So I'm just gonna do five sets to two and work my butt off. Try to get this done. 
So I'm gonna rest up for about a minute and then get on my next set. Next, I'm gonna go on a straight leg deadlift with dumbbells. I'm gonna be uh, starting with 80 pounds, and then I'm gonna be doing four sets of 10. Actually, I have to start off with 75s. 80s are being used, so I'm gonna just gonna do four sets of 12 with uh, 75s today. Next move is going to be seated leg curls. I'm not going to do uh, the lying down ones. I'm going to do the one where you sit, sit on your butt. I'm going to do that for four sets. Again, anywhere from 10 to 12 reps. Next, I'm going to go into my uh, calf superset. Go on a seated calf raises with a standing calf raises. They have like a standing calf raise machine here, which is sick, so I'm going to use that today. We're we'll doing four sets, 10 reps each. Leg extensions, isolating one leg. I'm gonna do this for four sets, anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. Finished the workout. I thought it went really, really well. Besides the squats, I mean, you're bound to get weaker during a cut, so I just gotta embrace it. Got a good sweat going. Let me show you the back. <laughs> I'm soaked, guys. So great workout. Now I'm gonna go back to the hotel wash up. Me and Mariah have a date tonight. We're going to the Cheesecake Factory. It'll be our first times going. So back at the hotel now. I am tired from that workout. It's gonna feel so good to wash up. It's so nice here, I can't, <laughs> it's way better in Duluth, trust me. Minnesota's not, well it's, it's nice, I mean, Minnesota's nice, but I don't know. Texas is really nice, so I'm gonna get an elevator and I'll talk to you guys up in the room. Guys, I just gotta show you, so wet. So a shower is gonna feel amazing. Come check Mariah out though. Show him. No. She got like all her Lululemon stuff on. She got the, the leggings, the sports bra, the little jacket deal. And she's just, she's just chilling out. I'm gonna shower now, and then we're gonna get on the road to the Cheesecake Factory. All right guys, so about to head out, just showing you what we're wearing. <laughs> I'm wearing this Lululemon long sleeve tee, size medium. Alphalete jogger, size medium. And then, the uh, Nike Prestos, size nine and a half. Mariah's wearing those Burks, her Lululemon leggings, extra small, and uh, the jacket, Lululemon, and also the sports bra, Lululemon. So that's what we're wearing. Kind of that got that athletic look tonight. I don't, know, I don't feel like wearing jeans or anything because I had legs and I like 
to wear like something comfy and stretchy after legs. So we're headed on to the Cheesecake Factory now. So talk to you guys then. So we are here at the mall where the Cheesecake Factory is located. Look at this, this is so sick. They have like ice skating down there. Uh, this mall is like pretty big. <laughs> so cool in here guys. Never been to one before, so it's a new experience to us. Yeah, so you go upstairs, and I guess you get right up here, and then you wait to be seated. So we're gonna get seated down at some point, and I'll show you guys like the restaurant after that. Let me show you guys. Oh gosh, that looks so good. So many things in there just look so good. All right, so just got seated. We got like this nice isolated room. But it's like dim in here, so I know when it, when the light gets dim, the video starts to like lag a bit. So we got the menu here, and I'm gonna browse through that. The lady said like the pastas are good and the burgers are good. So I might get some pasta with a salad on the side. And then obviously we're gonna share a cheesecake afterwards. Burned a lot of calories today at the gym. So I have some extra room with my macros and stuff. So we're gonna, I'm gonna, well I haven't even looked at the menu yet, so I'm gonna take a look at that. And then on, when we get the food, I'll let you guys know what we get. I'll show you guys. All right guys, the lighting is pretty bad here, but here's my food. Yeah, let's take some. She's grating some fresh Parmesan on there for me. All right, that's good. Thank you. Yep. So I got, um, what is this called again? I forgot. Oh yeah. Okay, so I got the jumbo, I got the jambalaya pasta, super spicy, and then Mariah got some four cheese mac and cheese. So pasta. Four cheese pasta. Sorry. Anyway, so yeah, this looks really good. So we're gonna eat this, and then after we're looking to get a cheesecake. So there's a cheesecake. We got a Reese's. Chocolate cake, cheesecake, looks so good. So, what we are going to do is, we are gonna eat this while we watch a movie. Decided to, take it, decided to take it home because the restaurant was closing and it just made more sense to take it home and watch it while watching a movie. So that's gonna conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.